Hello everybody and welcome back to the Zen Garden where we're going to water our plants real quickly before hopping back into level 7 of world 5. Maybe today we'll make it to like level 9 and if we make it to level 9 I'm probably gonna make level 10 into this episode as well. Which means that maybe we can actually- oh my god this is actually a uh, hmm, this is a thing. So we're going to want these of course, uh, I'm just not going to do the garlic thing again, because that sucked last time. Um, it seems like I should probably bring the coffee bean and magnetron because of the catapult zombie, and it might actually work against the... or the ladder zombie, it might actually work against the... Catapult zombie, of all the things catapult zombies could launch with its catapult, basketball seems like the best most obvious choice. Uh, toughness medium, special lobs, basketballs at your plants. I... How did we skip a zombie is my question. Like there's not a lot of zombies left as you can see, there's only three zombies left here. But apparently we skipped a zombie? Somehow? Uh, but yeah, it doesn't have a weakness, it doesn't seem like, because usually you can see um, weaknesses split pay or the, the magnetroom. Oh, a pickaxe counts as metallic, obviously. Weakness, uh, fumes room and magnetroom. Oh, a fumes room, I didn't even know that, to be honest. So this one doesn't seem to have any weaknesses that we have unlocked. Anyway, at the moment. So, I don't think the magnetron is going to work against you. So you're just going to be a bitch to deal with. Um, let's bring the umbrella thing, just because I want to see, like, what kind of coverage I get. I think if I place it here, it'll just protect everything around it. I think that's how it works. We're going to see, hopefully, probably, maybe not, I, I don't know. It really depends on how this level goes. Uh, level 7 and 8 usually... Like, the, the back half of a world usually starts bringing problems. Uh, that being said, I don't think there's going to be too many problems in this level yet, because... Um, it doesn't seem like there's that many difficult zombies to deal with. But maybe I'm mistaken in that. Okay, so there is three... Um, three huge waves of zombies. So this is going to be a long level, which makes me think I'm probably not going to be able to do the rest of this world in this episode, because this, this level alone is probably going to take about 10 minutes. And looking at the clock right now to see how close that prediction is to the truth uh, when we actually finish this level. Because I don't think that we'll be able to, um, well, as I said, do this very quickly. Because three huge waves of zombies usually means fairly long level. Uh, which means that there's also a lot of opportunity for me to cash in a lot of sun and place a lot of these things down. Um, which means that three Peters would have actually been a better pick uh, than the Umbrella Leaf. Because I'm going to be able to... Unless my double sunflower gets stolen. Um, which probably one of them will at some point. Um... I'm going to be able to produce sun so quickly that it doesn't matter when things get stolen because I can just replace them like instantly. Um, so I'm thinking that I might have made a mistake there. Had I known how long this level was, I probably would have made a different decision. So if I die, I'm going to make a different decision. I'm probably not going to die though because I don't think that it's going to be that difficult of a level, but just a heads up, it, it might come to that. Probably won't, but it might. Uh, also, I just like having like two layers of three Peters, especially now that I can like produce a shit ton of sun uh, with the double sunflowers. It's just it's just a good feeling to have so many things flying over the screen at any given time. Just because, again, it's it's satisfying. It's really really satisfying. Um, I wanted to do a double sunflower there, and I'm still going to, but I want to make sure I can take care of the cone zombie first because I think. I can take care of a cone zombie with just a cabbage pool, but it's a close thing, and I would rather not have it be a close thing. Um, the extra little bit of damage from the kernels helps, and then the butter sticks obviously are the main reason I'm placing these things down anyway. So, we're doing well, honestly. 
Um, we're not even at the first huge wave of zombies and we've almost filled out an entire row of cabbages and an entire row of, um, of corn. And we've got plenty of time to start placing down coffee bean uh, magnetrooms when the time comes for that. So, because it's probably going to be some ladder zombies in the first huge wave, I want to guess. Uh, so let's start placing down a plant pot here. And that's pretty much all there is to it, I think. Um, let's not upgrade a sunflower yet until we see what this huge wave actually has for us. Uh, well, that sucks. <laughs> it's the only thing that gets stolen is a plant pot. Can you steal plant pots, actually? You definitely can. It doesn't seem like there's any, like, metal baron zombies, so let's upgrade the sunflower anyway. It's a, it's a good RNG for us, I think. Oh, there is more zombies coming. Um, that being said, look at the amount of sun we have. Holy crap, let's start placing some cabbages down. Just because we need to use this... <laughs> we need to use this shit somehow, right? Uh, but this is actually, like... This is a huge wave of zombies. Sometimes there's a lot of zombies coming and you're like... This should be classified as a huge wave. Um, sometimes a huge wave is coming and then you're like... Ah, no, it doesn't really seem that huge to me. Like, at all. And I'm very happy that you actually got, like, stunned. Maybe it's worth it to... Especially now that I don't have three Peters anyway. Maybe it's worth it, after all, to uh, put down more bothering... ...plants. I think it might be. Just because uh, having a higher chance of things being stunned is good. Also, I entirely forgot about the fact that I brought this thing to... Um, you know what? Let's place you down here, see what happens. Um, to, to protect my, my plants here. Um, it's kind of like a... You see, this is maybe not a huge wave of zombies, but there have been huge waves of zombies, which were just this, right? So maybe that's just game progression. That's entirely possible and actually kind of likely. Um, that what classifies as just a wave of zombies now is pretty much the same what a huge wave was way, way, way before. Let's place down another kernel pool, just because I want to be able to stun these things. You took down my plan very quickly, sir. I'm not a fan of that. Like, at all. Um, yeah, let's just keep doing this. I, th I think we're doing well. We're at the second huge wave of zombies in a moment here. So, if there's any ladder zombies, place down one of these magnet rooms. Very important to remember that. Um, but other than that, I think we're good. I mean, there's going to be plants stolen, uh, obviously, right? Or not. Maybe not. Is there any ladder zombies? Can I see any ladders? I don't think I see any ladders, so that's still very good for me. You did take out one of my sunflowers, which I'm not a fan of. Um, there's a lot of zombies coming my general direction here. I'm uh, not very happy about that, really. I'm going to place down a double sunflower before that thing uh, is actually dead. Is that a smart idea? Definitely not. That's a very bad idea, as a matter of fact. Probably shouldn't have done that, because it takes a fucking mortal age to recharge these things. As it is. Uh, as you can see, it just died. Again, not a very good play on my part, is it? But I have so much sun, it doesn't really matter anyway. Then again, the issue isn't in my sun production. The issue is actually in the recharging time of these plants. Uh, so maybe that wasn't a good idea. And um, definitely I'm going to just... Stop bringing these because the umbrella leaves. Maybe when you place them down more strategically, they do something. But for the time being, they don't really seem to do it for me like at all. So as a matter of fact, I'm just going to remove this one and place a sunflower down there and then upgrade it right away. That's how little I care. I actually removed something that I paid for. And if you know me, I'm Dutch. I never like waste money. That's not true. I waste money all the damn time. <laughs> I'm, like, very not good with money. Um, that's not true. I'm not, like, that bad with money. I'm just... I like buying things. 
especially when I can't afford them. And I think that's that. We're about to face the last huge wave of zombies. I'm drowning in sunlight. I've got two lanes of both plans, which I could make that three lanes soon, I suppose. Uh, well, not three lanes of bo uh, both. Oh. Well, these are the lanes and these are the roads, right? It's not lanes. I'm, I'm using the wrong word here. Look at all the sun I have. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, and I love it. I don't know, I mean, I can plant another one that- Okay, so that was maybe a little bit wasteful because the thing just died. Um, well, let's see. The, the, where are we going to have a catapult zombie? Because I'm going to have some cabbage reinforcement there. Or I'm going to replace the cabbage that's getting left here. Uh, no, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get rid of the ladder from the ladder zombie. I don't think there's anything they can do against me here, really. So I'm just going to... I don't know. Sit back and watch, I guess. I can place down a sunflower again. Is there any, like, practical use in doing that? Definitely not. No, no, no. I'm going to upgrade it again just because I can. Again, no practical use in that. It's just... Insult to injury for the game. Also, I was pretty spot on with this level taking 10 minutes because we're about, like, I think 9 minutes into the episode here. And these are the last three zombies that are going to die, like, any moment now. And this, I think, is a Zen God thing. Can you plant that in a normal game? Something that just gives you... Okay, so you... This one. This one is an issue. This one is a real fucking issue. Um, but this one, this this um, marigold, it's a good plant for when you're grinding uh, money to buy certain plants. Okay, mm, we're going to bring these, which this is just a usual setup, right? Um, I don't think you have anything that's classified as metal, is the thing. So, I'm going to not bring the coffee bean. I'm going to bring a three-peater this time for sure. Um, let's bring the pumpkin as well. And let's bring the... Squash. Don't know if the squash was the best option there. I was thinking cherry bomb, then jalapeno. I mean, you could see where my cursor was, so obviously you know what I was thinking. Um, but then I figured, you know what? Actually, that level might have taken longer than 10 minutes, because I'm looking at my recording and I'm at half an hour now, which usually means that about the second episode is done. And last episode was about 17 minutes. So this episode is definitely going to be about 20 to, like, it's not a very long level, it seemed like. Uh, so it's probably going to be a little over 20 minutes, which I prefer these episodes not to be too long because I think, um, because of two very, very important reasons. One of which is that I'm having a very bad stomachache right about now, just out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> which is not a reason that this episode is shorter, um, if it is, which it isn't. Um... One of the reasons is I would like to be able to record a series, like, a lot of episodes in an hour. So, being able to record four episodes in an hour, in my opinion, a lot better than being able to record two episodes. And also, I think this series just benefits from having short episodes. Because I think watching this for 15 to 20 minutes at a time is fun. A lot of things happen, and it's just... Unlike something like Pokemon, if I do 20 minute Pokemon episode, nothing really happens usually. I have like two battles and that's that. So those really need to be half an hour long. The same with like a um, Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts type of game. Half an hour is the bare minimum there. You need to... You know what? I'm just going to let you get squashed. Uh, it's the bare minimum you need there to 
have any sort of progress. And as a matter of fact, I think half an hour is even a, bit, a little bit on the low side for those types of games. So when Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind releases in January, uh, we do have a release date now. I'm actually not going to do a normal Let's Play of that. I'm just going to uh, an normal schedule. I'm just going to live stream that whenever I feel like playing it, which will probably be like the weekend after it releases, I'll probably do like two streams that last four hours each or something, and then throughout the week after that I might like stream one or two more times, and then the weekend I'll stream a lot again. Which means that I'm going to be pre-recording a lot of the Let's Play content for that week, because I'll spend a lot of my weekend live streaming Kingdom Hearts, because I haven't ever played Kingdom Hearts 3 on the channel. I've played every single Kingdom Hearts game on the channel, I think, except Dream Drop Distance and... Um, and 3, because when 3 was released, I didn't upload, and I never got to do Dream Drop Distance, because it's a long series. If you want to start all the way from Kingdom Hearts 1 and make it to Kingdom Hearts 3 and do Let's Plays of it, it's, it's a long project. It's like, I would dare say it's much longer than uh, Pokemon through the years will ever be, because there's more games and the games all last longer. <laughs> I mean, there's Kingdom Hearts 1, there's Chain of Memories, there's Kingdom Hearts 2, there's 3, 5, 8, Days Over 2, which you can just kind of skip if it weren't for Xion. Um, but th that's just not a very good game. There's uh, Recoded, there is Birth by Sleep, there's Dream Drop Distance, and then there's Kingdom Hearts 3. And I think I'm forgetting a game or two as well. Um, potentially. Maybe. I don't know. Am I? Feels like I am. So there's a lot of games, and all of those games are like between like 10 and 50 hours. 358 Days Over 2 lasts way too long and is way too slow, and that's why I say you can skip it. It's definitely the worst Kingdom Hearts game. Um, as a matter of... Oh, boops. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking it might not actually be a good game. <laughs> there's things like um, the worst Pokemon game being honestly just red and blue. Uh, they're just they're just broken, um, but they're still fun to play. I think honestly, three, five, eight days over two, uh, Kingdom Hearts isn't even really fun to play. Can I even can I squash you? I very much doubt I can squash you. Yeah, no, no, I can definitely not squash you, uh, which is an issue, which is a real issue. Um, Yeah, that's not good for me, is it? It's good that I know. Um, pumpkin. Just, I, I need to slow you down until I can squash you. Please, let me squash you. Very much like to squash you. Does squash sound weird to anybody else right now? Sounds like a weird word. That was some very quick playing, by the way. Just click, click, placing, 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 placing. Which... It's just what you do. But I wasn't even thinking about that. That was just... That was some, like, fucking... Autopilot gaming. That's like... I have mastered Plants vs. Zombies Ultra Instance. That, that's what we're at right now. I have mastered this. I, I, I cannot be beaten. Don't take it as a challenge. If anybody's watching this and wants to play multiplayer Plants vs. Zombies, which apparently is a thing, that's not a challenge. I can be beaten. As a matter of fact, I can probably be beaten fairly easily. I don't think my strategy is optimal by any means. It's optimal enough to win the game, but I think it could be more optimal. Because I don't really think about what I do with my strategy, I just play its plans, and when it doesn't work, I try again with a slightly different placement. Which is how you develop strategy, I'm, I'm aware of that, yes. Uh, but this is already almost the end of the level, so um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm rambling on about, honestly. Uh, this episode is definitely uh, already at 20 minutes right now, because last episode, again, 17 minutes, we're at 37 now. I mean, I'm no math genius. That's kind of correct. I was going to say, that's not correct. I'm kind of good at math. I'm definitely above average at how good I am at math, but that's just because everybody else in this world just fucking sucks at math. I'm very sorry if you're not good at math, but... People just suck at math. I'm not like... <laughs> I'm no, like, mathematician. I'm like, no professional here, by any means. But people fucking suck at math. It's... I don't understand how... I understand how you can't... Uh, how, how you can be not very good at math. I just don't really get it, maybe, sometimes. 
but like the levels of incompetency I have seen people at Mad, and it's not if you have like, um, I, what's uh, what's this lecture for uh, math called? It, it, that's a real thing. Um, I don't I don't remember what it's called right now. Um, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like just your average person is not very good at math. As a matter of fact, um, in our high school student in the Netherlands. Uh, we have introduced, like a couple of years ago, we introduced a just a standard math test for uh, graduating high school. And that one was a bit of an issue, uh, because, okay, so we're going to fucking die here is what we learned. Um, it was a bit of an issue, because we, we get grades on a scale from um, 1 to 10. Technically 0 to 10, but I don't think anybody in the history of like humanity's ever gotten a 0. Um, because I think people, teachers just give you a, a 1. Um, do these things even work against those giant motherfuckers? Is a question, because if they don't, I'm still going to be fucked. Okay, so they do. And now we've got Malons, which are so, 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 so good. I think they deal 80 damage? Oh, they do splash damage. And also, probably like 60 damage. Um, but to finish my anecdote real quickly, uh, we scale from like 1 to 10, and usually you need a 6, um, and that's rounded up, so you need a 5.5 to pass any given test. Um, the standardized math tests we introduced here for high schools, uh, people didn't get that 5.5. So uh, the government was like, you know what, a 5 is good enough. And then most people didn't make that. And then the, world, <laughs> like the year after that, we were like, you know what, maybe a 4 is good enough. And then most people didn't fucking make that. And then the year after that, they were like, you know what, a 3. A 3 is good enough. And then most people, like... About 50% of people still didn't fucking make that. A 3 out of 10. That's 30% of the right answers. That just... At that point, if you're guessing, you should be able to get a 30%. That's just like... That's within margin of error. <laughs> Almost. And then they figured, we, we can't go down to letting people pass with a 2. We, we just can't do that. This, this is already being ridiculous. So they said, you know what? We're going to keep doing the test, but it's not going to, like, impact you graduating for the next X amount of years until um, the, the education system has a better way to teach math. But people just fucking suck at math, apparently. And don't go saying that that's because um, our education system sucks, because <laughs> statistically speaking, the people here are, like, in the top 20. I think, of, like, highest scores on math tests in general. Like, the US is absolutely horrible, even worse. So I can't even imagine how bad they must be. No offense if you're from the US, but I can't even imagine how bad you guys must score if we are, like, considered good at this shit and, like, 50% of the country in high school can't even get 30% on the test. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyway, until the next time, I'll see you all back then. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this video. Next time we're going to do some melon pool thing, which is going to be fun because I like splash damage. Until then, bye.